Yo, what's good, what's good out there, world? Welcome to this edition of Smoking and Baking with Trademark. And today, I'm coming at you with a box cake hat. And today is going to be a red velvet cake. And here are the ingredients that I'm going to be using. Remember, we're going to take a little and add a little, but we're not going to totally follow the directions on the back of that box. So right here, I have one box of this Duncan Hines Perfectly Moist Red Velvet Cake. You can use whatever brand you like. We're also going to be using 3.4 ounces of this chocolate jello instant pudding we also will be using one cup of all-purpose flour along with one cup of sugar we also will be using one cup of this uh, sour cream here i have one and one third cups of buttermilk at room temperature i got four large eggs at room temperature i'm going to be using some vanilla extract here i have one fourth cup of cold instant coffee and I also here have a half a tablespoon of unsweetened cocoa powder and I'm also going to be using one half cup of vegetable oil and here right here I have some red food coloring just in case I want it to be a little more redder and I'm going to do a cream cheese icing and to make that I'm going to be using this Philadelphia cream cheese I'm going to be using some of this unsalted butter along with the powdered sugar today I'm going to be using my 9 by 13 inch metal cake pan and there in the back I have my sifter my bowl that I'm going to be mixing in and today I'm going to be using my stand mixer so once again here are the ingredients that I'm going to be using to make this red velvet box cake hack. Now, let's get to baking. So the first thing that we're going to do is mix our dry ingredients together. Now me, I'm going to sift my ingredients together, my dry ingredients. And I'm going to start off by sifting this cake mix. So now we have the cake mix. We got this all sifted. And the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to sift in our flour. And this is one cup. And right behind that, I'm going to go in with the one cup of unsweetened cocoa powder. And next, I'm going to go in with the sugar. Now, I'm not going to sift my sugar. And now, I'm going to sift in my instant chocolate pudding. And now we can just give this a little mix. And I'm gonna see you at the next step. So now I got this mixed up. I'm gonna go in with my four large eggs at room temperature. And I'm gonna still do one at a time and not thoroughly mix it, but let's mix it a little bit with my spoon before I go in with the mixer. And I already uh, preheated my oven to 300. And 25 degrees you can do it anywhere from like 325 because I see some recipes say 325 and the box say 350 that's about the only thing that I follow directions is with the box for real for real. and I'm gonna leave it in there anywhere from like 26 to 29 minutes because remember I'm going to be using my 9 by 13 
So the next thing we're going to do is go in with this sour cream. And this is also at room temperature. And right here I have one teaspoon of vanilla. I have here one half of a cup of vegetable oil. And now I'm going to go in with one and one third cups of buttermilk at room temperature. So now I'm right, I'm about to switch over to my hand mixer. Now remember, I told you I still got some ice cold coffee, but I just want to see how this mix before I uh, add that, and I don't want it to be too wet. So we're going to put our mixer down, and we're going to start it low, and we're going to mix it a little bit before we actually turn it up. Now I'm going to turn it up a little bit. Stop this for a minute because I want to wipe down the sides of my bowl and I also want to check to see how wet it is to see if I'm going to uh, add this ice cold coffee in. <laughs> fourth cup of ice cold instant. So now I turn my mixer down to like three until I get this mixed in here. And then I turn it back up. So now it's nice to Properly mixed, I'm going to get this in my baking pan. Now let's get this batter into the cake pan. So as you can see, I decided not to add the red food coloring dye. And that's basically if I was going to do a homemade and start it off with that fresh flour. So we're good on that. So like I said, I have my oven preheated to 325. I say you can vary. You can do it between 325 and 350. But you know, if you're using a metal pan versus a glass pan, that the time difference, you know, so anyway, I'm going to leave it in there probably like for 29 to 32 minutes. But like after the 29 minute mark, I'm going to start going and checking with my toothpick. And when it comes out clean, I know it's done. So let me get this in the oven. And next up, I'm going to make this homemade cream cheese icing for the cake. Now let's make the homemade cream cheese frosting. So I'm going to start off with eight ounces of room temperature Philadelphia cream cheese. And also I'm going to have put one stick of unsalted butter at room temperature. So I'm going to set my mixer down and I'm going to mix this on a medium high until it's well combined and no lumps. So now that we have this mixed, we're going to now add in one fourth of a teaspoon of salt and we're going to add in one teaspoon of vanilla and we also want to scrape down 
our mixing bowl. And that's my cake. So let me hurry up and get that out the oven. And I'll see what the next step. So now that we have all that mixed in, we're going to add in four cups of sifted uh, powdered sugar. And we just want to add in a little at a time. And we're going to start our mixer down on low speed. And then once it get combined, I can start turn it up a little bit. And like I said, I'm going to gradually add in the sugar until it's all in. And I'll see you at the end of that step. So right here is my homemade cream cheese frosting. And straight out the oven is my red velvet box cake hack. It actually been in the oven for 45 minutes. And I'm going to let this cool off. And I'm going to add on the frosting. So, see you then.